Good evening, everyone. What's up? It is asked by meal. Topped it off the music desserts. Mr. Hot speaking. Previously, there was a rant on, um, oh, there was a commentary on a rant. Today's going to be a requested rant from Mr. Jonathan Pickles. And this is going to be a rant on a fairly odd parents of 2016, aka FOP 16. That's short for fairly odd parents 2016. Sorry that there hasn't been a rant on this TV show in about a year, but it's coming back finally. What on earth? This show's on season 10. Yeah. This show ran from like 2001 to 2006. That's five years. 2008 to 2015. That's seven. So this show's ran for a dozen years. And Timmy is still 10 years old in Mr. Crocker's class. Why is he still 10 years old after this many episodes and seasons? He should be 11 or 12 by now. Is it necessary to make this show so timeless? No. So this Not only is this TV show unchanged, it also is adding additional silliness to it. The main aspects of... The silliness in this TV show are the timelessness, the additional character, and how rushed this TV show is. Let's look at the um, timelessness. Timmy is still 10 years old. How can he be 10 years old after over 100 episodes? Really? And he still hasn't grown up. Why does he still have his fairies? He doesn't need them that badly. Nobody's entitled enough to deserve fairies. Nobody. Not even Donald Trump. Not Bill Gates. No person on the face of this earth deserves fairies. Especially not Timmy. <sighs> this average kid getting fairies. He's 10 years old. He should be like 11 or 12 or even 13. And he should have already lost his fairies by now. He's at the age where he doesn't need them anymore. He can be self-sufficient, can he? Well, uh, pro probably not because he still isn't. So he hasn't learned one less. He hasn't even learned 10 lessons from these fairies ever since he's had them. He's still his childish self. He is so self-indulgent. And thinks he's above most people when he's really just a 10 year old loser in reality. Which if he was living in a real in a real world situation, he would have no friends, no close friends to speak of. And he would probably be beaten up by people every day in school. And he would, he would be a bored little rat. Alright, the second aspect. The new character. So this is, there's this new female character called Chloe. And man is she ugly. She's just this typical white girl and that's all she is. She comes out of nowhere and then she's and then she's a part of Timmy's life now. She is very useless as far as looking into Timmy's life for him. She's not she's not she is no special character. She's not a brain from Arthur. She's no scholar. She, just, she doesn't have vast knowledge. She's a liar, and she doesn't deserve the fairies either. How on earth does she deserve fairies? She has not, she has not completed an activity that makes her deserve the fairies. Therefore, she does, she shouldn't have fairies. Oh, this character! Thank goodness Poof and Sparky are out. But this character is almost as bad as Poof and Sparky, if not just as bad as them. The reason why this character isn't as bad as Poof and Sparky. Because at least this character can be held accountable, is actually a real human being, and it's not just this sinful creature. As much, well, it still is a sinful creature, but not. This is an actual human being, not this pile of dog feces that came out of nowhere. But still, she's a pain in the neck. She's difficult, and she's a burden. To the majority of the population at least. So this character does not deserve to be in a show. She is no special character. She's just a white commoner. 
Hot. She's not even that attractive. No, she's not. Look at her. She's got freckles. She's just another average white girl in the United States. That's all she is. Sorry about that. The last aspect, third and final, is the speed of this show, of this of each episode. This show feels very rushed. It's like it's like it's the same as most other episodes. It's very repetitive. There's a there it's just another day, a silly event happens, then there's another event, a wish comes, the wish does well for like a couple minutes, it screws up, a wish that this this wish is undone, back to normal, the end, another event. That's how every single episode is. Not to mention how forgettable this show, these episodes really are. That's why this rant's going to be less than 8 minutes is because there are no memorable events at all. There's, the characters are not interesting anymore. The characters have no personality. They do not have, have experience or knowledge like most people do. And they've been undeveloped and they have not improved themselves. They're just a bunch of they're below an average commoner, sadly. And man, the episodes are kind of boring. It's like they feel like they they feel like they take five minutes to play, and we don't even get the plot at all. And we forget them. We have to rewatch an episode like on several occasions to remember what ha what events happened, and we still can't because it wasn't interesting enough. Some may argue that the Fairly Odd Parents is great because, oh, it's a classic, it's a Nicktoon and such. Well, this show was not special to begin with, and animation's ug but ugly. They're unrealistically drawn, these characters. And they're just a bunch of... It's just a, a silly fantasy creation that was not written by people that have... PhDs, for example. Sorry about that. Some may argue that, oh, at least Poof and Sparky are gone, and there's a new theme song. Good there's a new theme song, but Poof and Sparky should have died by now. Um, let's see. So ultimately, this TV show came back because this Nickelodeon's struggling and needs a TV show to keep it itself alive. Overall, this TV show needs a lot of improvement. If it if it keeps doing its activity, it will not improve no matter what it does. So with that, that's all there's to say for this rant on the Fairly Odd Parents 2016. This is Mr. Hata signing off. Peace out. Good night. Yeah.